tonight. The regular viewer will know that this is actually the second video I'm filming today because I got rained out of what I was doing, working on that silver tractor. So we're gonna work on this. So here we go. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Rusty Oliver Man. And this here is an Alice Chalmers we've been working on. It looks a little different than when you last saw it. I didn't film everything. I'm getting ready to take the hood off of it so we can work on the motor. I got my new lines made. Got them fed in there. Got them all out of the way with the exception of we're going to have to zip tie them together and tuck them under there so we can set the platform down nicely. However, there was a bit of a snafu on these and that was well for one they didn't have enough fittings to make my three point cylinder line so gotta wait on that number two was one set of his couplers had JIC fittings coming out the back another set had pipe threads okay well we had a little problem here the place also did not have adapters and I wanted to make them all JIC so that the thing matched because I made the hoses with JIC ends on both ends so it would fit on the valve here 90 degrees and then go back screw on these so I had to go to town to a different town and get a set of these adapters that we can put in there and make this that and we're probably going to get rained out of this too because of my crappy setup I have with no nice dry shop so we're gonna have to just make the best of it here. I'll probably go get my little bucket seat in the other room, so just a minute. All right, so we're gonna do something that I know is riveting footage. I'm gonna tape up these adapters and screw them in here, and you're gonna love every minute of it. You know, why not also precariously mount you to something that's not stable at all, so you get the, it's kinda like we're on a boat, you know? Doesn't it feel like that? Pretend you're fishing, sure. See, he had on one set of the couplers, he had put these adapters on, and that's just... Why have all that extra nonsense? Let's just convert the valves over so we got everything the right way. We have four consistent hoses back there, and everything is going to look lovely when we're done. I know he's waiting on this to turn the auger. He told me that every day he doesn't have it, his wife has to go out there and turn the auger. And I told him he should be grateful because this winter she'll be a lot more strong when she's carrying in all the firewood. So, yeah. Also, I should know, it was a bear to get these out, the old hoses out of this coupler. And finally, what I had to do is saw the hose off and unscrew this fitting and put it in a vise, break my vise, and then put that in a pipe wrench and put that in a vise and then break it loose with a breaker bar. And I finally got the old remnants of hose out of these. Consequently, these are a proprietary fitting. You know, this is not like just a regular adapter fitting. It's made in there just to fit this valve body. So I just came very close to almost just telling him we had to buy a new one of these with the correct ends because I didn't think I was gonna get them apart. And they had to because it had the old hoses in it and we had to get them apart. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Can't really get this on camera for you, I'm sorry. I gotta have my leverage and be able to hold them. All right, rebuilt. Ready to go back on. However, we gotta wait till it's not raining because I ain't getting wet. It ain't worth it. So the right thing to do now would be to go ahead and take the hood off and start working. But the Ross thing to do is probably gonna be to sit on this bucket and then play on TikTok for 45 minutes and then it'll be time to leave for the school bus. So we'll see how far time jumps ahead right after this. All right, back to this. I think we're good to go here. 
we can mount all of our couplers up again, I believe. Need to get the bolts though. Need to get the bolts. And I need to get zip ties so I can band those lines together how they need to be. But I think probably first would be to just get them up in there as they need to be. And we'll worry about that others in a minute. Because I'm trying to mentally remember, I have a whole pack of zip ties I just set aside for this project. And you know, you think I can find them now? No, not at all. All right. Probably be easier to just stand. Let's see. I'm thinking Arby's. No. Hold still. The one with the flat washers is on this one, is what I'm thinking. Because of the larger hole size that somebody made in this piece of metal. Now, if this is mine, I probably would have changed these brackets and made them both the same. But it ain't mine. And he's in a hurry for it. And cosmetics ain't what it's here for. So, that's where we're going to leave that. Okay, I should have brought another wrench for the bottom. How about the wrench that fits everything? I bet our hoses are longer than they need to be, but I didn't really have much choice. All right, let's take a gander under here just real quick. I'm thinking they're all going to go over first and then they'll come back in which case that one will go like this in which case this one will go like this right is that what I want or do I want to go in a way that's going to just cause a lot of trouble out here That actually might. No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go like this, probably. Cut the excess out of the way on this one. We'll have to do this and then lower the platform and then try again. See, to figure out if that's really what we want. What I got going here is, I need the handyman jack. So, I've got another handyman jack, but it's not going to be as well suited to what I'm going to go do. Because it doesn't have a handle built into it. Now, I don't like that. That would work, I think. As long as all our draft control linkage does not interfere. We'll figure that out after a while. I think that would be perfect right there. Like that. And then these two will come around in there like such. And then they will go where you are bolted to. So I have to move the safety board. And I think if I go the opposite way with them, 
like the excess I think that we got this lit let's see here ah oh, it's just fighting me tooth and nail why because why not Come on. Let's go there. Okay. I think it's gonna work. I just need to find my zip ties though. And then I need to do my final tightening of these fittings because they're all just loose right now so that they can be pivoted however they needed to be whilst we do it Or not. <clears throat> okay. So now it's time for zip ties. We're going to find zip ties and we are going to zip tie these hoses to each other so that they do not get smushed. <clears throat> but I like what I'm seeing. I think it'll work. So zip ties. All right, I got the platform back down and I got those two bolts partially started. This is the second draft of lowering the platform because the first time I didn't do it and they were all crooked and couldn't get them started. So now we should just need to put down the tools we don't need. We should just need to tighten these all four and we're good to go. Got all the hoses routed where they're not hitting anything. We should be good. We're waiting on those uh, more of these fittings because I was going to make hoses for the three point lift cylinder. And that's what we're into right now. Or where we are, I should say. Right now. now, see, that didn't work like the one I did. Instead of Holding still. I think she's gonna go. You don't have as many uh, forgiveness, what I'm trying to say. Like in my green tractors, the coupler holders, you can spin them. So you can get everything to lay just where it needs to be. These 9400 series or whatever you call them are clamped in such a way that the coupler will not move. So you have to be sure you get your you have to be sure you get everything where you want it and then you tighten it down. But that's gonna work. Everything's loose. I mean hose wall. So that's good. You don't want it in a bind. Now, I'm going to get this one. This having a shorter bracket is not as easy. Maybe I should have tightened them before I clamped them up here. But there again, I wouldn't have been able to get it exactly where I wanted it had I done it that way so this way is more this way is more precise at least it is in theory uh -huh. 
Does that come off of there? Nope, it's all the time. That's what I figured. That's why he bent that down, I see now. So that he could get these. So, okay, and we should still be able to get to our our T right there. So that's good. Everything's in there. Routed nicely. And what have you. So we'll go on to our next thing. Alright. We got our fittings and our other two hoses. Before I forget, <clears throat> I'm going to change this filter. Because I don't think it's been changed in a good while. How could I possibly know this, you ask? Well, it's got paint on it. And the tractor was painted probably, who knows, five, six, ten years ago. Sweet. I also don't have an oil filter wrench. Somehow or another, I have lost my filter wrench. Luckily, I'm a big son of a bitch, so I can... Just take her loose. I wonder if it's gonna leak the whole time and Ross should have thought this through more. No, it's not. I got some hydraulic fluid from him just for this purpose. So I supposing it would make sense to go ahead and fill the filter because we are going to, the level's gonna go way down because of the fact that we put on all those new lines. It's got to fill all those lines. So that's why I told him I needed fluid. All right, nothing like making a mess. Come on. Come on. Oh, you greasy mother. Ah, oh, it even came out with the fruity side out. Okay, that's done. I don't have to worry about that. All right, now we will figure out how to struggle and struggle and struggle some more. We'll get these put in here. In theory, it should be fine. In practice, maybe not so much. Maybe we need to jack up the platform. I'm going to try it without it. I really don't know how to get you a view of what's happening. I really like how the dang... Uh, <laughs> I think my phone's ringing in my pocket. But nothing I can do about it. Probably better to go over. Over. Maybe. Well, we got the right idea. Yeah, we'll get her. We got her licked now. I'll table that for a minute. I got that one in there. I connected on both ends. I think we'll do final tightening in a second. I want to get the other one as hooked up that far. And then we'll see. And again, there's no good way to get you in on this action. I just got to try my darndest to get this hooked up. Because I'm having a lot of trouble getting it. Getting it just perfect. I should probably disconnect the couplers so that I could... Uh, I don't know if I want to go over on this one too. I went over on the other one. I really think this one is going to do better like this. So I wonder if I go. It's like I'm talking to myself and it doesn't help you at all. Oh gee, I don't know. 
Well, what's a guy gonna do? Cry? Sadness? I don't know. Quit. Move away. Find a different job. All right, I think we're making progress now. I'm gonna have to get some more tools though, probably. Cause if I go, I just, I need to hold that T. See what I'm talking about whilst I tighten those? So I gotta hold the center still and then turn with the wrench and I'll probably get the offset wrench too. I should have left this platform up. Would have made it so much easier. But I needed the handyman jack, I thought, for that feed grinder adventure. You know, I didn't know it was going to go the way it went. So I brought everything, just in case. I brought stuff and things. So that I could have everything. Come on, you. Are we about there yet? All right. Let's put these back, because they're hanging around in my way. I want to go for the mast on that one. Okay, I got that done. And now my plan is start it up and check it all for leaks. So I'm gonna have to put the battery cables loosely on anyway. And then we will see what takes place. Should we also reconnect our alternate or our charging system? Maybe, it doesn't matter. All right, clear or not. Safety switch, probably. No pipe on it now. So. Let's cycle everything. Since I got this valve down, I don't have enough. Okay, we've cycled enough. We should be able to tell if we have any leaks. We gotta bolt that valve and everything back up to get the three point to work correctly. It, uh, yeah, all that extra linkage and stuff has gotta be just so. And uh, yeah, but I don't see any leaks out of our fittings. So that's good. I was worried about that one up under there. That's the hardest one to get to. 
but I think we're good on that deal. So with that, we can button this platform up and then focus all of our energy on the engine, which is what it came for here to start with. And then we got sidetracked with that leaking situation. So we're going to put that in a separate video. We'll call this one here. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.